This week on Open Falls Training, installing new software on your Ubuntu Linux system. Welcome to Open Falls Training. I'm your host, Matthew Williams, and today we'll be covering how to install new software on your system using the Ubuntu Software Center. Now, in the Windows world, until recently, you've had to go out to the websites that had the software you wanted, download them, install them. It's getting better in the Windows world slowly with the introduction of the software store. But in all reality, this is something that Windows and OS X have both been catching up to in the Linux world. The Linux world for years has had ways of installing packages without ever having to go out to another website to install it. So today we're going to show you a little bit about how to use the software center um, how to install new stuff using it. And in the next episode, we'll cover some a uh, little more advanced topics in concerning installing new software. So let's switch on over to our Ubuntu Linux virtual machine. And here we are. Now, if you want to launch the software center, it's already right here in the dock on the left-hand side of the screen. So just click it to launch it. Or you can come up here to the dash and type, you know, software center. And right there it is, so we can launch it that way as well. But to be able to install new things, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can browse through the categories that it already shows here. So if you wanted to install something dealing, say you needed to be able to edit pictures, you would want to search in graphics. And then it gives you, you know, all kinds of options here. And down here is a nice little option it shows is the top rated graphics packages in the center. So you could click right here on GIMP and it'll tell you a little bit about it. And nicely, it'll show you optional add-ons, things that extend the function either further that you could install while you're doing it. And then right over here in the top is the option to install. So click install. And here in a moment, it should prompt us for our user password. Here we are. And as I've said before, because we're installing new software, it has to authenticate against your user password to make sure this is something you actually want to happen. So this will prevent people who you don't want from installing additional software on your system. So, and the nice thing is this will run in the background. So we could go back, click here to go back. Now you can also search for things. So if you knew the exact name of a program like Audacity, which is audio editing software, you can search for it, click install right now, or you can search for things like audio edit, and it'll give you a whole list of options here, including, you know, Audacity, the editor itself, or here it even gives you the option to buy a book about using Audacity. Now you'll have to so set up a account <coughs> to be able to finish doing the purchasing, but it's a very useful, you know, book. You know, you might want to check it out. I've not looked at it. I don't use Audacity heavily myself, but I figure out enough of it to know what I need and how to use it. Well, as you can see, installing new software in Ubuntu is a very simple process. The GIMP process we started is sitting there installing in the background as we speak, and when it's done, it'll be there ready for you to go. So you can choose, you know, you can browse through this to your heart's content, 
search for things you know if talk to friends you know who use linux and they can suggest new packages that you might have uh an interest in running so until next time you know i want to make sure that before i head out of here to make sure to you know thank you for taking the time to watch this and everyone who has supported this project to make it come to reality so be sure to you know like subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming soon. Until next time, later.